Welcome, good children, to Operation Stockhart and Lockenhausen. Come, come one, come all. What, what, what the hell is it called? What? The, the water hole swimmy things? Ponds? I don't know. Swimming pools. I, <laughs> <laughs> why couldn't I think of that? <laughs> when you first say that, I'm like, pond? Yeah, well, uh, Lake? Come for the lake, stay for the wooden doors. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you see, this I'm happens. Talk about Minnesota. Yeah, talk about Minnesota. Yeah, this, 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 this is what happens almost every time I record a video. I plan, like I have something clever and witty to open it with, and every time I fuck it up royally. <laughs> every time. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Hi, wife. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Petting you. I've noticed. Nah. I dropped my phone. Eh. Oh. See, when you have chest hair, it must be scratched. That is the law. Ugh. Ugh. When you have a throat, it must be closed shut by force. <laughs> that is the law. <laughs> Speaking of closing things by force. I'm gonna fight the Falcons! <laughs> My friend Sean's giant muscly waifus. So, uh... <laughs> he's, he's got a thing for Jade Falcon in particular, so I like, I like nagging on him about it, just because it's, it's hilarious. I actually have a uh, character that is literally his waifu. Because, uh... I can remember where the fuck to go. Barracks. Uh, she is... Jade Falcon Muscle Babe Waifu. Oh, okay, a little discouraged. Alright, well, I mean... Well, how did that happen? Oh, weird. Didn't tell me that last time. Uh... Yes. Disgrace, oh god. Other side of the sphere and from the wrong side of the war. At least that's what everyone, including her, says. <laughs> Makes most folk uneasy with her size and her origins in equal measure. She's a veteran of the clan Jade Falcon Invasion Force. An elemental, to be precise. So basically, she's 6'10", which is 2 meters for, you know, those who don't know. I thought that was 7 feet. Uh, no, that's like 2.03 meters, mm. I think. I, meters are weird. <laughs> Look, I I can do the whole and kind of half meters, kind of, sort of, but when you get into, like, 2.13 point, like, that's okay. when I get fucking confused. And how tall would I be in meters? God, I think 1.7, I think? I mean, you're six foot, so I... I'm five foot ten. That's close enough, woman. <laughs> You have earned those extra inches. Don't you dare come at me. Yeah, because you gave them to me. Well, well you're not wrong, but... <laughs> That's an innuendo. Uh, yeah, yes. But up. But no. Uh, <laughs> oops. Uh, yeah, so the... Yeah, affinity with clan battle armor. Uh, but I... And this video has now been not made for kids. Yeah. <laughs> at least we're not monetized, am I right? Wink, wink. I didn't say anything necessarily bad, at least across those sensors. Well, yeah, no. I, I, are you kidding? You know what reference I made without no one noticing? Like, if if the AI becomes cognizant of, of human puns and facial recognition patterns, we're fucked. So you pilot the Chaparral, so you need to... Okay, you got that. Uh, intensity firepower. Ooh, that'd come in handy with an artillery. Uh, why does my foot hurt all of a sudden? What the hell? Weird. Like, my... Part of my foot just went numb. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I don't know why that's pertinent information, but here we are. <laughs> um, my gum is a little sore. Uh, it's much more sore than... The last time I had my teeth pulled. Uh, we're pulling out the sides on 
both sides I, I have both sides on the bottom pulled out I don't really have any molars on the bottom except for like one like semi kind of quarter molar I think that's called a bicuspid I'm not sure uh so I have that lovely little fact um Uh, right, backup components to patch and work around. Takes vulnerability critical damage for 50% of all times. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, and direct fire penalty, that would come in handy. Uh, Also, nice the lady was like seven. Oh wow! Yeah, I was wondering what, how old your character was. Like six or seven. Uh, I'll do that for now. I don't know why I started writing this. I just wanted to. I don't know. Usually, how it comes to you. So, uh, oh shit! Well, you have max stats now. You're worth some money. That's the restrictive shit. <laughs> yeah. 50k salary a month. Jeez. In five months, you can buy one M laser. <laughs> okay. Uh. I haven't even used you in anything, but that ability. Uh, okay. I know this is the boring part of our sectionary section e sec sec sectionaire. <laughs> I do the words good. I I can wordicle. I I I am totally the words. I don't know if recall 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 on. No, it's. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure if recoil penalty is much of a problem when you the only weapon you have is fucking flammenwerfers. Uh, oh, what the hell? Just because my OCD demands it. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, <laughs> I love this character. <laughs> he he kind of sucks because he doesn't know how to stay upright, but. Just the picture and and Texas voice and <laughs> just all of it is fucking glorious. Like I've noticed in BattleTech, in this game in particular, um, there's a lot of gentlemen of darker persuasions that are fucking Cretan. Which is space Japan. I don't I don't remember Japan having a large black population. I don't remember that. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of them that are all from Cretan space, and I have no clue how or why. Uh I mean if they're if they're based if they're based off real people, then it's probably because they all like Shonen Jump because Goku doesn't have a dad. But <laughs> I mean oops. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Yes. Or do I? What? What would be a good name that would go with Claire and Clara? That's Clarice. But it has to be a man. Oh. Carl. No. <laughs> Not name a man named Carl. Ken Kentucky Bourbon. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, huh. Well, that means I'm going to look at other things. Um, okay. Because you suck at this. Well, I, t I, don't, I don't mean to. Uh, well, I, should I make it go along with the C name thing? Yeah, I would. Okay. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. You could do Charlie, Colin, and Brad Cornelius. Ooh, Cornelius Vanderbilt, you no. know. Or you do Christopher. <laughs> huh? Clayton. Clayton, what is Curtis. this? The, the the Wild West in the Southwest and shit? Like, I actually knew a dude on my Facebook that was named Clayton. Yeah. 
Clayton P. Charles. That was a long time ago. Uh, yeah. Four score and what the fuck time ago. I decided to ship them all back to Lincolnia. Oh dear. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not saying whether or not, you know, shipping certain groups back to Lincolnia was a good or a bad idea, but if it did happen, we wouldn't have BLM, so there's that silver lining. Name him Charles. <laughs> there's that silver lining. And name him Charles. Charles. I always like the name Charles. It sounds so sophisticated. I bet the one dude watching me named Charles is like, that's right, say my name, you fucker. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Speaking of random Charlies in history, Charlie Chaplin was a fierce defender and proponent of men's rights. Weird to think, I know. <laughs> you never learned that about the man, didn't you? But he was a very fierce advocate for men's rights because he got fucked over hard in a divorce. Or she took three quarters of his fucking income. So, yeah, no, that's kind of why he ended up being so supportive of men having fucking rights. <laughs> I, how, how funny is it that, you know, people are going to watch me and they're going to be like, Oh, yeah, he, he, he makes quirky jokes about all the ethnicities. That's totally fine. We have no problem. What's that? He defends men's human liberty. How dare he? The bastard! Now we must cancel him! Look, look, you know something's weird when saying the forbidden Fairbotian words is less a bannable offense than advocating for human rights. You know that's when you're in upside down land. <laughs> Actually, neither should be Fairbotian, if you ask me, because words are just fucking words, get over it. But here we are. <laughs> here we are. I don't know why I buy silver bullet goss. I just... It, it's made of fucking silver. I want to own it. <laughs> I will use it to kill the space werewolves in the Underlung 5. <laughs> no, babe, I'm trying to be high energy. Yeah, but you're shaking the bed. Oh. Uh, well, when I'm high energy, I shake violently. <laughs> that's... That's... That's what I do. It's called Tourette's, my dear. You know I have this. <laughs> Yeah, but your Tourette's isn't even that bad. Uh, well, no, because I heavily medicate it, but, you know. It was really bad when I was a kid, let me tell you. It was, especially when I was a teenager, it was, I, I remember uh, a friend of mine, uh, we were, because he was big into geology like I was, and uh, I was just twitching the whole time. Like, we were, we were talking about these, these rocks and stuff, and I was telling him about it, and just the whole time I was, like, convulsing and twitching. And he was worried about me. It was so bad. But then it would go away for months and months on end, and I had no problems at all. It, it, was, it was weird. It was one of those things where, you know, I would just twitch and convulse horribly. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of guttural sounds. And uh, that would happen, like, hardcore for a couple weeks, maybe a month. And then I wouldn't have a single twitch for, like, two or three months. And it was that way off and on for my entire teenagehood, more or less. Uh, and then I got put on Risperidone, which isn't for Tourette's, but the side effect happens to treat Tourette's. So they kind of sort of use it for Tourette's, kind of sort of not really. And uh, lo and behold, it may have made me infertile. Who knows? <laughs> it might have. I have no idea. Uh uh, yeah, or the ADHD medication, or the Stratera, or the Ritalin. Yeah, I was a heavily doped up child. No wonder I was so uh, emotionally unstable at certain points in my life. Uh, on top of that, you know, um, all the all the weird abuse that was going on from peers and adults alike. My parents never really abused me. My mother and I fought off and on quite a bit as when I was a teenager, but that was more because she was coping with a lot of things she went through and you know we just kind of butt heads as a result but it, it was this weird kind of back and forth where we would fight and then the next day we'd make it up and watch a movie or get burgers or whatever like we just we'd spend good time together afterwards and then 
like a week later we fight again and then we'd make it up it was just back and forth and honestly i'd rather it be a back and forth where you know oh we're upset oh now we're not instead of i hate you for all time <laughs> I would, I would much rather the brief reprisal, right? the reprieve, if you will, than like, oh, you suck constantly. How dare you exist? I, that I rather would not deal with. Like, which luckily I never dealt with from my parents. Uh, I dealt with it from my peers, especially in fucking high school, uh, which is indoctrination camp mark three, um, and indoctrination camp mark one is elementary, because uh, in elementary they teach you. When I was in school, in the early 2000s, in elementary, they taught you that, um, you know, the whole sharing is caring, and that, it sounds like a nice platitude, but in reality, they're setting you up for communist thinking, right? Because communists live off the propaganda of, you share with me, but I don't have to share with you. It's this constant, you give me, I don't have to give back kind of thinking. And that's in practice what they do. On paper, oh, it's all about sharing and love and family. In practice, hey, I care about uh, the, the right to your own property, but only when it's my property. When it's your property, that's my property. It's, it's, it's just grift theft the religion. <laughs> I gotta get my tea and put enough sugar in it to kill a moose. Mm. Oh, my head. Oh, God. That, that buckled a little. Ooh. Ow. Entertain the fine people, buddy. I'm writing a story about a little girl that knows that her aunt's screwed up. Hmm? But that's not the only thing she knows is gonna get screwed up, and I'm not revealing any more details. <laughs> So why does the original Animal Crossing have 15 villagers? That's a lot of frickin' villagers. Also, why are they assholes? Well, that, that's just kind of the social aspect of it, is that they're assholes. I mean, they get used to you over time, and then they start liking you. Some of them aren't so mean off right off the bat, but some of my favorite villagers are like the really grouchy ones. Unless they're like Queenie. I don't like Queenie. Yeah, fuck Queenie. I beat her with a net. I told you that bitch crazy. I don't know how often, I don't know how much I beat her with a net, but I beat her with a net. And now she doesn't even, now I don't even talk to her. Or do anything. I just don't talk to her. Don't do anything. I hope she moves out. <laughs> Get fucked, ostrich. The other ostriches are chill. Fire is painful. <laughs> That's why we have to sit by its warmth and not get stung by its embers. I have tea. Yeah. Hooray. And I've been sucking on tea bags. Um, it's actually oddly pleasing. The feeling of it draining is just a nice sens sensorious thing. What? The tea bag draining. When you suck on it, the yeah. liquid drain out of it. I don't know why, but that's pleasing to my autism. I have a lot of disorders, if you haven't been able to tell. Because <laughs> some of them make me fun to be around. Like, my, 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 my border on the border of Tism. <laughs> my Tourette's is fun to be around, because I do weird, goofy things. And everything else is just painful. <laughs> also, I can't stand for longer than fucking 30 seconds, because my blood pressure's all fucked up. <laughs> Here we go. No, 
I'm laying down. All right. The Argo. This is what it's what it looks like when it's more or less fully repaired. I only have this and this. Given that they recently re-added the second set of mech bays. Uh, given that they added that, I really want there to be another lance you can pilot of mechs. You know. Like, uh, the battle armor spots add to it. Uh... Uh, add to the battle armor spots tank spots and add to the original tank spots um you shut up thing uh add to the tank spots of okay hold on i'm pretty sure that's this website hold on can't i is there a button there we go stop stop talking to me oh Okay. Oh, he's up early? Well, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, uh... <laughs> Alright. Uh... God, should he join the video? <laughs> I don't know if he should. Uh... Yeah, yeah. As long as their background audio isn't bad. Uh, actually, yeah, hold on. I'll... Oh, shit. Uh, unmute. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, uh I'm bringing some friendly ish faces into this lovely Battletech esque event I'm doing. Uh, hold on. Uh, Hergeshingen. Okay. Um. Okay. Now I must wait for my fish to bite the bait. And by fish, I mean human beings. And by bait, I mean insulin. So, uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> He's leaving. <sighs> damn it, Sean. Uh, well, I add her as well, but... <laughs> I think I misspelled friend, like the meme. Is there an I in there? Well, okay, you can either go friend, which is yeah. F-R-E-N. Okay. Or you can always do friend, which is like F R E N D. F R I E N D. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, that's the actual word. I like mixed them both, put them in a blender, and extracted them, and harnessed their essence and vital ichor. <laughs> that was oddly specific. Okay, shit. Uh. All right. Uh. Yeah. Uh. It's funny because last video uh, a friend of mine wanted to join but it was a specific like trying to make this specifically about this game and this battle tech and this you know trying to specifically about this this is a little more free form a little more off the cuff a little more i'll just play this because it's a fun game fuck it uh so uh yeah that's that's kind of that's kind of expensive it's <laughs> i I lost a lot of sea bills uh, buying shit from the uh, Twycross s uh, sector. He here's here's the thing: they heavily increased the purchase value of uh, of clan tech, <laughs> like which okay. 
is canonical and does make sense, but at the same time, it's already hard enough to find in stores. Why'd it have to be so damn expensive? Okay, raid contract. Sounds good to me. Battle mission. Ooh. Oh, nice. Get money and salvage. Yeah, I always go with 3-12 as a bare minimum. So in case I brick a whole mech, I can get a whole mech. Just in case. Uh, that's some good cash, though. Yeah, usually with um, clanners, you want to go full salvage, because, you know, they have, they have excellent loot, but... I'm not going to let the gift horse in the mouth. Uh, okay. The space Germans like me. Uh, it's funny how in the Lyran Commonwealth, uh, they have, like, such great economic prosperity that, uh... Huh, they have... Yeah, they have such great economic prosperity that, uh, like, everyone has readily available housing and, like, basic income and shit. Like, it's, you know. But they, they can only afford that because they have some of the best banks and, like, industrial processing plants in the entire inner sphere. So they just pour wealth on their, on their lower classes and just uplift them, you know, to what we would consider to be wealth because they have such great overview and such great uh, economic prosperity. But, uh, that's, that's only available if you, you know, don't drain the economy and tax the piss out of your citizens. <laughs> just a thought, just a thought, you know. Uh, Does that still count as a hunchy? Yeah, it does. Okay. Gridiron, yeah. I gave the gridiron some different gear. Um, yeah, I gave it the same loadout as the other hunchback I had, but because this is a hero mech, uh, it gives bonuses to the rest of the team. I got a few hero mechs here. Uh, because gladiatorial combat is fun, okay? <laughs> okay? But yeah, uh... I kind of want to swap out some mechs every now and then, but I, uh, look, look, I would love if this could have, uh, if, if the battle armor slots could have tanks and the tank only slots could have mechs, that way you can have three lances of mechs and a lance of tanks or two of each. That feels like a full on fucking battalion. Right, that feels like a full-on, like, fuck yeah, danger squad, or whatever. Like, it, you know, it feels like a, like a proper me against 30 clanners, right? Like, it feels like a proper... Because at, at two stars for clans, you fight, like, three stars, and that's 15 fucking clan mechs, and you can only field eight mechs, so... Eight inner sphere versus fifteen clan, or you're gonna be fucked, okay? Unless you really outweigh them by a metric fuckload, <laughs> you're going to be fucked, okay? Because the whole idea behind the clans was that you know you you have like a mad cat to like an atlas and a awesome, right? Like you have two inner sphere mechs for every one clan mech. And that's, you know, because clans have better tech and sometimes better armor and usually more weapons. So you need uh, more inner sphere mechs to even the odds. Right? That's how it's supposed to be. That was the intended purpose. So it's, it's kind of weird having at two skulls to fight three stars. Yes, almost entirely light mechs. Yes, but still 15 clan mechs. Is a fucking lot. <laughs> it's 
It's like 30 inner sphere max. Like, it's not exactly what I call a fun time. So, uh, although it is fun to, you know, fight against the odds and whatnot, but there is such a thing as a hopeless battle. I mean, that does exist. Oh. Well, he's been fighting Jay Falcon. Okay. You haven't got any kills from Jade Falcon, do you? Duo, duel. Yeah, that's all you're good for. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, technically, you don't get a lot of kills in the incinerator, because usually it's not... Because it only counts as a kill if your shots kill it. Not if you caused a bunch of heat, and then they explode, and then die. That's somehow not a kill, I guess? I... That's probably for the base game. I don't. I don't think the mod did that. Let's get some fucking artillery. Uh, I like the mobile HQ. It's fun. Uh, it's good to drop turrets to defend our position. Well, oh, that does cost money. Hold on. Let me uh, get you in there. Should we be the LRM carrier? Um, hold on. Uh, where the hell is it? Oh. I'm stupid. Okay. Uh, well, more like blind, but. Okay, mobile field base. In case my armor gets fucked up, I can run back to it and get repaired. And it. Well, if it still does the way it did the last time I played it. Uh, it over repairs by a metric fuckload. <laughs> so, you become basically fucking invincible in that spot, but it's only spots that break through your armor. So, uh, yeah, fun, fun time. Um, I could do that and, uh, animal headquarters. I could, but. Uh, Hyven. Halabi, Halabi. Uh, shit. Okay. Uh, Thanatos isn't ready yet. Uh, boy. I want to feel that, because I put some good shit in that one. Uh. Do I need more scouts? This is mostly a heavy, like, two lances. Uh. I have, like, one scout, and that's the Osiris. It's more like a heavy scout because it's got lasers out the ass. Fucking lasers! <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, Herba. Um, oh, wow. You're attuned to me, a team. Ooh, it's going to be a brawler. Ooh, good. Ooh, good. I picked the right pilot for that. <laughs> Yeah, this, this thing has high initiative for it being a... Yeah, it's got seven initiative? Holy shit. Uh, that, that's extremely high for a 100-ton mech. That is ridiculous. Like... And... Oh, he's Master Tactician. Okay, so... Plus three. So this should be four? Because it's plus... Two, so, my, so a five. Uh, the at ten gives plus one. So would be four. That even that's way too high for a hundred toner. I have no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question. I'm just. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm like you know, you know. Fucking. We will just accept the fact that this thing hauls buckets and it will shoot the ass off of anything that dares move. And apparently there's something uh they added this since i came back um artillery cannons because the cannons are the sawed off shotgun rendition of an artillery or like an art like because if if it's a proper artillery piece it's just called like sniper artillery but if it's the sawed off it's called sniper cannon so and the sawed off does more damage but can't really do long crazy arcs from a long distance 
It's more of a mid-range kind of blow their ass off cannon. So, and the Schwer Gustav is like has one firmly attached to its ass crack, like it's it's got one embedded in its blood and bones. Fun times. Speaking of blood bones, there's the the Black Marauder, which is great. Uh, yeah, it's it's just it's it's great, you know. Uh, <laughs> shoving in corpses into gears, looping up the machine with blood, you know, typical Sunday afternoon. <laughs> In the Church of Satan, it's the typical, you know, Sunday afternoon, Church of Battletech Satan, you know. Where would Satan be in Battletech, and why is it Stefan Maris? <laughs> he's like the closest thing to, like, a, you are 100% a bad guy. <laughs> like, it's, well, Katrina Stein is a pretty close second, but, uh, like, holy shit she just wanted to steal the throne from her brother and she killed her fucking gra like no her not her grand she's named after her grandma but she killed her mother she killed her mother and wanted to steal the throne from her brother so it created a massive like civil war purely as a grab for power uh propagandized against him set the entire renamed the L lyran commonwealth the lyran alliance and uh Set set off to destroy her brother, killed her other brother in the process, <laughs> and he may or may not have come back like thirty years later as Devin Stone. Well, that's that's beside the point. Uh, because she was trying to steal the throne from Victor, but the other brother, I forget his name, he gets assassinated. But they never found his body. It was never a confirmed kill. But he like a building fell on him and they just as assume he died because they never found his body so you know um so he may or may not have come back as Devin Stone um but yeah that's that's what happens when you try to combine two great empires into one great super monopolistic empire and then it falls to shit because one of them got greedy <laughs> Like here, here's what I love about Battletech. Oh, one of the many things I love about it. It it reflects history so well. Especially medieval history. It's like medieval World War One in space. It's it's beautiful. It's goddamn gorgeous. But you know, it's I mean I mean for for, for fuck's sake, there's the Knights of the Inner Sphere, you know? Like that's that's an actual faction. Like, it's... You know, I mean... Which is... It's kind of weird how most writers fucking hate the Free Worlds League. It's kind of it's weird. <laughs> like, they always shit on the Free Worlds League. Well, it's raining. Holy shit. I don't like where I'm at. I'm out in the open. Spheroid fools! To be shown no mercy! Hanula. That rain will help with heat sinking, Commander. Nice. Thank you! Whatever ethnicity you are, man. <laughs> I really can't tell with Yang. Is he Samoan? Is he. Like, I, I really can't tell. Bad decisions at high speeds. <laughs> Tex is great. I feel like that needs to get closer because mortars are a particular business. God, this is like the third match in a row where they've landed me in a river. <laughs> like, they, they drop me directly in the water and it's like, uh, guys, it's hard to move here. It's It slows down my movement speed. <laughs> 
which in this game is kind of a death sentence a little bit. Uh. I'm going to move them a little bit. Got it. Oh, these tanks ain't moving for biscuits. Okay, so that's the... Oh, it's just a lance. Like, Wait, is that, is that a secondary lance, or...? We'll just send in more giant meat corpses for the pile. It'd be great. If... Like, uh, pardon? Holy shit, he's at nine now. Dude, my lance is fucking buff. <laughs> I am going to hide behind this boulder and launch shells like a mad ferret on Northamterptamine, if that's even a drug. And just fire at the ground wildly in all directions. Like that bitch in 1914 saw. <laughs> you know, all of them. Okay, I'm just gonna fire randomly. Spike damage. Hold it firm. Oh, I hit something. Shit. Won't tell me what, but at least I hit something. Yeah, you are going to have to get closer, because your mortars do not go as far as artillery does. I mean, that that is accurate, because artillery is more like a forward arc, and mortars are more of an upward arc. Because the idea of mortars in the uh, naval pirate days was to fire above, uh, like, walls and shit. Like, to, uh, to, to see, it was a siege weapon. But it was designed on uh, naval ships to fire upwards into an arc and um, to go over walls and hit inside the, uh, the place. Um, now, broadside cannons were more a direct, you know, uh, straightforward arc that hopefully crashed through the wall of the, of the um, encampment, uh, crushed right through it. Because if you have a 12-pound metal ball firing at the speed of sound, <laughs> you know, you're going to do some fucking damage. Yeah. That, I, I just love the f idea that in the 31st century we're still using fucking mortars and big off mech rifles. And I love that. That's just so cool. You know, the the future is old. I, I love that concept. It's it's always intrigued me. Probably because I'm a historian at heart, but I do like some sci-fi. So I'm kind of picky about my sci-fi. Uh, like, you know, I'm, I'm not that big into Star Wars. I mean, it's, it's, it's a space fantasy. It's kind of neat, but I never was that big into it. But, um... However, when it comes to Star Trek, I, I grew up with the original series. Uh, I've seen a good chunk of Next Gen, but not all of it. And I've seen all of DS9 like four times. Uh, and I grew up watching TOS uh, like all the time. Uh, my father loved that show and he got me into it. Uh, it's it's kind of funny because there there's been memes lately about how uh, like boomer dads are realizing they're autistic because they have like like w like worker manifolds for cars they don't own and <laughs> you, you know they know every episode of Star Trek by heart and you know like it's like yeah you're not autistic totally not <laughs> they didn't have that word back then but we all know what you are we all know where you belong. <laughs> You belong in the in the fun zone with us, the other autists, <laughs> the friend zone. Yeah, seven initiative is fucking insane for a hundred tonner. That is fucking insane. Like, <laughs> I gotta wonder if that's the Schwer Gustav specifically, or if that's just like what that is, because it's kind of nuts.
mobile field base will I'll probably camp everything on this island and then use this island as solid ground to lob mortars and shells on the hostile drop area people it's probably what I'll do machine guns in all directions but yeah um shit so uh I, I just I find it interesting because there's a lot of people I've noticed in the millennial generation that are on the spectrum like a lot of them diagnosed on the autism spectrum I most of the millennials I was good friends with were on that spectrum granted I'm on the spectrum too so you know autists tend to get along with each other uh, granted because it is a spectrum there's different levels and shades and varieties and all this other stuff and some shades don't interact with other shades very well but that's that's more the exception to the rule oh boy that can't just be a that can't just be a lance that has to be a star oh you want to somewhere sub in mm -hmm. uh, there was a comment where uh, this guy was explaining the Lance and Star system, mm -hmm. and he said, "So a star is five mechs because a star has five points. It's a good thing that none of the people in the Kerensky Legion were Jewish, <laughs> thinking a star has six points. You know, like those weirdos. You know, <laughs> I thought that post was funny. That's affirmative, Circinian." Why are pirates attacking clan? What? <laughs> okay. I'll just add you to the meat pile then. Uh, I have no problem with that. Uh, Circinus. I, I have like no dealings with Circinus in this file at all. So it's so weird that they're popping in and saying hello with all their pirate uh, levels of brevity. Uh... But as I, as, as I was saying, you know, it's it's interesting because a lot of millennials were diagnosed autistic. Uh, just the ones that I knew, a lot of them were. And I, I wonder if that's genetic. And if it's genetic, then a lot of boomers had it. But they just weren't diagnosed because that just wasn't the thing they did in the 60s and 70s. You know, so I, I really wonder if that's the case. And, you know, it's, it's stuff like this that it intrigues my curiosity and I want to learn about. But I am curious if, you know, autism, I think it, I think there's a genetic component to it. Because usually people I know that are on the spectrum, their kids tend to be a little quirky too and a little on the spectrum as well. You know, I, I mean, again, that's not a bad thing by any metric, but it's just something I've noticed. And... Long arc. I am going to set your asshole on fire with chili. Giant flaming mech chili. Oh yeah, we need to do suppressant and inferno. Actually, yeah, let's, let's do nothing but suppressant and inferno. Let's just cause all of them to melt royally. <laughs> suppressant means they can't sink sink heat that well and so and the heat will kind of have a double toasty effect on their uh on their heat sink so it'll, it'll be great i keep getting distracted this is how you know i'm on the spectrum like i, I can't focus for shit i might be a little adhd i don't know but again it's it's odd to me because we have all these names for all these different disorders and all these classifications now and it used to just be you were called a weird kid and that was it you were you were just a weird quiet eccentric kid who sat in the back of the class and did doodles you know like that that's that's all it was it was just weird kid i need a brew to more okay i'll read later uh well i'm kind of in the middle of this 
I am enjoying it. I will definitely remember this. Yeah, I may forget. No. Yeah. Babe, I watch the videos before I post them. So when I watch this, I'll be reminded and go, Hey, Chris, you asshole, watch your wife's shit. And then I'll, and then Chris, me, in the future will go, Okay, great. And, and, and then I'll go, Wow, Chris in the past was so weird and odd and quirky. And then Chris in the... One of the Chris's will go, Okay, well, I'll listen to my wife's shit. And then there we go. Yeah. I forget which one, but one of us will do it. <laughs> yeah. Babe, you know I watch these, like, shortly after. I do it all the time. Okay, but I'm saying I might forget to even tell you. And you may not watch this until, like, tomorrow. But, no, I usually watch them shortly after. Uh-huh, right. <laughs> Is it short? That would be a no. It wouldn't take that long to read. Uh, my eyes don't work. Uh, just, just you talk to the damn camera people and I'll read your, your very interesting story. So you talk. I see flames. Fire! Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of fire, I'm going to melt their assholes off with the incineration. I love this mech. It is the pinnacle of evil. Okay, okay, we're getting short. If Satan made a mech, this is what it would be. Talk. It'd be weird if you can collect the herbs in this game. Y yeah, no kidding. Like how how off would that be? It's like, oh look, a a, a giant spheroid fungus. <laughs> can you just imagine like picking up a flower with the giant mech hand? Oh it's yeah. Like... <laughs> uh, oddly enough, they actually might be able to do that uh, because my armor muscle, it, it works a lot like human muscle. Although it might be funny to also pick up a tree and smack people with it. Uh, yeah. That I would love to see in a, in a Mech Warrior game where you can just use trees as weapons. You just throw them like tree spears. That'd be amazing. Yes. There needs to be a type of mech. Or you can always that. have a mech that basically has a pencil sharpener, but instead of like a pencil, you pick up a tree and you sharpen it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's something like the Loader King would do. Like it's, <laughs> it's what an industrial mech would do. <laughs> You just have a giant pencil sharpener? Yeah. <laughs> pencil <Jeez>. spear! <laughs> Although one funny one-liner could be like, I'm gonna write your death certificate. Yeah. Just throw! Time to write your death certificate, throw. Hits them in the cockpit and they die. <laughs> the mech bursts into flames just because that's what mechs do. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. My story is getting spicy. Dude, this this woman is borderline evil. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, <laughs> that's a that's an abusive mom. Holy fuck! Like, look, it's one thing to make your kids think you're gonna discipline them. It's another thing to terrify them into submission. It's <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the aunt. Well, no, I well, I know is what I'm saying. Although. The, her son. Uh, you notice that he can't talk. Well, isn't he like two? Yeah, but like two-year-old kids can talk. They can. Yes. I don't remember that. Curse is because you couldn't doesn't mean <laughs> it do, doesn't mean it counts for everybody else. Yeah, just because you weren't developed, you know. I was made in a fucking incubator. That's why I'm so tall. I think that would actually stunt your growth. But anyway. Uh, it doesn't work that way for planners. 
You know, that's also clanners. That's not how real life works. Uh, oh, well. Clanners are real. They're out there somewhere. So these guys are going to fight it out, and I'm just going to lob artillery at both of them until they figure out where I am. <laughs> I have arrow four, now fuck you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they're, they're duking it out, and I'm just lobbing artillery at both of them. Oh, this is glorious. I love this game. It's on fire over here. I mean, it's raining, so the heat damage isn't going to do a whole lot to them. They'll probably sink all of that just in the extra alone, but... It suppresses them, so they kind of don't want to fire at anything. <laughs> you know, because they'll generate way more heat. And they won't be able to sink it as much. Ooh. Don't you fucking show your back to me. I'll shoot at it. That's what I'll do. Oh, this thing's gonna melt. Ooh. Oh, that was a, like a Chad line in AVP. Which, which was... It was good, but it was kind of a B movie. It was, it was like borderline between B and like A. I, I, I don't know. Is the the quality wasn't the best, but I mean the action was fucking great. Uh, the story actually made sense for a crossover. And you know, uh, I don't know. It actually wasn't that bad. Uh, I, I, I kind of don't like the Colonial Marine thing, honestly. Because, one, it just, it's it's out of place. The Colonial Marine thing in the Alien series is out of place. Because it was just what's-his-dick trying to copy Starship Troopers and not even doing that good at it. You know, and look... Starship Troopers makes more sense because they have an entire base that's that's devote like their entire world military is devoted to this one pursuit, right? Their entire world military is. But and with the Colonial Marines, it's just like what a a, a fucking like Wayland Yotani hire some contractors or something <laughs> like it's. You know, doesn't have a whole lot of backing to it compared to, you know, this giant mega empire that just can't collapse. But that'd be cool. Blue's arm off. Garden library. God, you are a special breed of, like, floral autist. And I love it. It's so amazing. <laughs> the floral autist librarian. I was not aware that you were talking to me right at that second. Uh, yeah. Until I heard floral library, I'm like, oh, that would be me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a special breed of floral autist, and it's beautiful. It's wholesome. It's lovely. This Shvera Gustav is nuts for a hundred tonner. Like, it's fucking nuts. Fucking, no wonder it costs it fucking... Oh, what, what was it? 10, 12 mil, I think? Yeah. Something like that. Something. Something? Yeah. Uh. Oh, crap. Uh. This is, see, it doesn't. didn't even go that far. So it's. I'll just do there and see if the splash damage doesn't hit these pygmy bastards a little bit. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> I know that feel, Tex. <laughs> I was a drunk once on copious amounts of opiates, which was the only way I've ever been able to get drunk. But that's beside the point. <laughs> I'm 6'10". Of course I, you know, have trouble getting affected by booze. <laughs> I'm goddamn enormous. I'm, of course, like, I'm gonna have troubles. She ain't gonna get there in a long time. I'm gonna get closer to the island, but maybe not quite. Holy shit. So they fight each other and I take the salvage. Sounds like a good deal to me. They haven't even acknowledged my presence. They're just killing each other. I might just stand back and let them do all the damage. But my mech warriors are thirsty for piston blood and oil and... Fucking... <laughs> fucking high zinc level minerals and fucking... Ferris materials, oh my. Mm-hmm. Again. Look at that face. That's not the face of a southern like like trucker girl. That's the face of a Latina with daddy issues. That's that's not Especially because of the hair. Like <laughs> dyeing your hair red? Used to be like a like a weird like oh quirky a little smart kind of you know right kind of unusual but now fucking everybody does it and nine times out of ten when women dye their hair red it's because like they feel like their father didn't love them enough or something like it's it's always something tragic you know like always some tragic reason to have hair you can see from space I'm gonna blow this and keep us off oh. Can't hit that. Okay. Uh, can I show you? This poor blackjack. This guy just hasn't had a good day. Shit. Air burst the asshole. Mortars. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna scout. I'm not gonna go full on and go up in there and get personal. I'm just gonna be on the outer edges of society, looking in at all the madness. Which is good for me, because I'm good at that, because I've been doing that my whole life. And just, just staring into the madness inside society and going, wow, you guys traded all this freedom for, like, government handouts and race riots. Was... Lucky us. This thing's gonna die. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna try and attack the clanners next, cause, <laughs> cause uh, if we just take out Sersinus, then I'll be left with these guys. But if we take out both of them at once and they're distracted by each other, then I can reap reap the better benefits of war. Artillery, artillery. How are you not drowning? <laughs> ah, don't 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 think about it, Chris. Okay. 
Now we aim for... If, this, if the damn screen camera bullshit will move faster. We aim for the Incubus. Eventually, they're going to recognize my existence, but probably not for now. Oh, shit. Thank you for showing me that, that mech ass... Oh, he ejected. <laughs> I was going to say, show me that mech ass plate, and then he just pops. And I'm like... Aah. Machine guns in all directions. Send them a message. Of the Bergeon. Okay. Now this guy's gonna have to get up in there and go in like the U.S. Marshals or the black space Japanese uh Flamen Verfer pilot. <laughs> I I don't know how, but that works out quite well, actually. Oh, crunch. Ooh. They're, they're fighting each other. I need to get a scout. I need to get my scout near here so I can actually see where the hell they are. Do I want to drop mortars on these guys and then pincer these guys shortly after? Like at the same time. Or, or I could just go in from the south, crush yeah, these, and then over overrun these. Motherfuck you. <laughs> what? Wait. Okay. <laughs> I showed him alien talk. Yeah, yeah, it was a thing. I love you. You're a strange one. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. That's probably why we're married. It's your your strangeness made me decide to give you a sword and a sawed-off shotgun and say if you can make it to this other side of the Ozark Mountains, then you know you will be my wife. And you said yes, sir, and here we are. Yeah, a, I don't think I made it that fucking... I don't think it was that fucking hard, but it, anyway. It, 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 it's a romantic story of love and prosperity. Let me shoot at things. I want to shoot at things. Wow, that really doesn't add much at all. Uh, oh, those are going to miss. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. Will you stop? Just, just shoot normally. By the way, it ain't gonna hit their shit. Uh, yeah, let's let's just do two. Oh, it actually hit. Well, well, damn. I don't know why, but I was just instantly reminded of something bizarre. Yeah. Uh, what? That that iCarly show, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't they do a sequel or like a return to the show? Show? Kind of. 
Didn't it not have the fucking blonde girl in it? Yep. Wasn't it because she was possibly, and there's evidence of her being groomed by one of the directors? Yep. I'm pretty sure it was because of Dan Schneider. Yeah. Schneider, huh? I, I wonder I wonder what part of the world his people come from. <laughs> as, as she looks it up. <laughs> Little memento. <laughs> what does the early life say? That's the question. Look, I'm not saying it's them, but it's them. Oh, I don't. I'm pretty sure you use face. Oh, that's a bloated head. Holy <laughs> shit. Why is his head way fatter than the rest of his body? I don't know. says nothing of either. It doesn't indicate any ethnicity whatsoever. Nope. That's that's unusual for Wikipedia. That's unusual. And look, look at any person in human history. Like uh, Blackbeard, a uh, British, you know, navy, uh, uh, a naval man turned pirate, right? Like, uh, I'm just thinking of random people. Uh, Vladrakul the Third, a uh, Wallachian nobleman turned ass kicker of the Ottomans, right? Like, you know, it, it. every time you look at a historical figure, it tells you what country they came from. Half the time, it tells you the country they came from, and on top of that, th where their parents came from in terms of country. Sometimes, even three generations back, it'll tell you. So for Wikipedia to conveniently not mention this one guy that obviously they're covering for, makes you pretty damn suspicious. And, and he, here's here's what's strange. The majority of the, you know, unnameable special interest group, uh, having Germanic last names, is because Germany was the country that welcomed them in the most throughout history. Right, it was the country that was most accepting to this special interest group, that I cannot name for the fear of losing my bank account that I don't have, and. You know, uh... Oh, one thing you mentioned that he is a Nimai. Special interest? Mm, possibly. Okay. So, yeah, I, I was probably right. <laughs> Look, when, when your holy text says, you know, the not us is totally fine on the chopping block in terms of statutory endeavors, kind of makes you wonder, you know, uh, the not us that rhymes with soy... But anyways, uh, <laughs> oops, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, just the uncanny valley. Yeah, I know, it's, it's the most uncanny valley of all the tribesmen. Like, it, it's so bizarre. <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> see, see, again. I'm saying things without saying things. Therefore, they can't actually crack down on my balls. They will anyways, but, you know. I like the challenge of saying without saying. It's a fun little linguistic endeavor. Alright, I was playing a game. Shit. Uh, <laughs> I got distracted. Sorry, guys. According to Tex, he, he had like a southern drawl thing going on when recording that, and it like drove him nuts. Like it's... Oh, wow. Ooh, I don't have that much ammo. Oh, shit, it actually hit. Damn. I've been getting pretty lucky shots this match. Actually, let's let's get you my sniper into sniping position. Okay, let's 
which is uh, the Vapor Eagle. Okay. I might want to try and shoot that. Uh, yep, I want to try and shoot that. It's the most accurate possible shot. And it's a Jake Falcon. Damn, it's armed to the teeth for a... Oh, it's a medium. I thought it was a light. Even for a medium, that's armed to the teeth. Holy shit. Nice. You son of a bitch. Okay, so let's, let's do a little closer. Oh my god, his grandmother's like crochet tanks. Nice! I love them. Uh, Look at this woman. Aww. Little black lady fucking made a crochet tank. That's an actual tank. Holy shit, they crocheted that? That is so amazing. Yeah. Wow. Look at her, she's so happy. Uh, nice. Not gonna lie, the Asian grandmother really knew how to how to style her tank. Mm -hmm. It's got nice trim and whatnot. This is actually all real, not AI. Uh, yeah. Well, if they have 12 fingers, then you know. Yeah, that's actually not what I'm noticing, because all of it looks pretty freaking accurate. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But also happy. Yeah. Well, I was really happy. Yeah. Does it look like it? Did you give it eyes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. That's she the gave, headlamps. Look, she gave it eyes. For real. Uh, she gave it cute little eyes. Yeah. I seriously don't know if this is all AI or not. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part of living in the AI generation where you don't know if anything's real anymore. <laughs> like, you have no fucking clue. Uh, like, I'm gonna hit this thing. Do do do. Uh, -huh. uh there there was a uh, YouTuber way back when. Uh, it, was it Brother Sebastian or it was Brother something, and it was a priest. And his whole shtick was that everything that went wrong in his life was because of Jews. Like, that was... <laughs> like, he could burn his toast in the morning and be like, Fucking Jew! Like, <laughs> That was great. You're gonna get yourself fucking, like, canceled. No, oh, no, 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 no. But, uh, hey, I, you know, other people said that exact line and, you know, they, they're, they're still here. And, and they're popular and want, they want to cancel them and... If you make enough content, no one notices the little details, I've noticed. Mm. People people miss the crucial moments all the time. Yeah, you, uh, you, you, you make you make short amount of content, everyone can pick through with a fine tooth comb but you you make fucking uh voluminous tidal waves of hourly content and no one wants to sit through all that shit so they just ignored the vast majority of it but those that are autistic enough to pay attention learn a lot so it's kind of a trade-off a little bit why did you only send javelins you sent a lance of javelins to fight a star are you on drugs have you been doing pirate drugs? Are they better than Canopin drugs? One has to wonder. 
can open Sin Casino. Come for the for the, for the half off martinis. Stay for the fertile cat girls. Fertile in triple parentheses, by the way. <laughs> Doody doody do, you know. See, he, here's the thing. I'm I'm by no means a hateful person. I just like pointing out patterns. I like noticing patterns. I like paying attention to what the fuck is going on. And when you notice enough patterns, you begin to point some fingers. So, uh, yeah, fun fun times there. Uh, you notice enough patterns. Uh. You get a little paranoid. So, uh... Go not AI generated slightly whatever race Arnie. <laughs> Go AI generated Arnie. Boop. Nice. You can't fucking hide from me. It's kind of weird having like melee max and artillery at the same time because you don't know which one to use half the time like it's good to have both because if they bum rush your artillery you got to fight them bare knuckle boxer There's but apparently a christian church in uh-huh that the way that they're drawn kind of just look like two john arbuckles from garfield it does <laughs> And someone's like, I'm putting you a sketch concept of Garfield as the snake on my desk by five. And it's like, <laughs> Garfield, eat the John. Eat the John. Eat the John. He has, he has oh, a good no. rib. He has a good rib. Yeah. Eat the apple, John. This decision will undoubtedly lead to the invention of lasagna. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> that was fucking glorious. <laughs> Uh, this shit ale finds. Yes. I'm just pelting this fucker from on high. Like, this... Oh my gosh. I have artillery, asshole. You don't. This person named renamed a few games in the Zelda franchise. Oh boy. Oh the boy. Legend of Zelda. Where the hell do I go? Yeah. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. Link's pink hair. The Legend of Zelda, Growing Pains. <laughs> yeah. And that first one was for the original, Max ones for Link to the Past, and the other ones for Ocarina of, of Time. Legend of Zelda, holy fuck that moon! <laughs> I don't think I need to explain that one. Yeah, no. The Legend of Zelda, Boat Simulator. Y yeah, no <laughs> shit. The Legend of Zelda, Xanth was the true main villain. <laughs> no kidding. The Legend of Zelda, repetitive menial tasks. Uh, hey man, Skyward Sword was just fine. Repetitive remedial tasks. Menial. Oh, menial. But anyway, Skyward Sword's a good game. Fuck all of you. Yeah. The Legend of Zelda, Breath of Fresh Air. Breath of Fresh Air. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda, the trailer is better than most games. <laughs> that was for Tears of the Kingdom, oh my goodness. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Oh, that, that one's stunned. That's, that's why I have such accurate shots, even though it's all the way the fuck up on the mountain! And they have supporting bay. You fucker. Oh, well, at least I blew out an actuator. My daughter just asked, R2-D2 was there for the whole story and never had his memory wiped, so why didn't he just tell Luke that Vader was his dad at some point? I just sat there dumbfounded until she shrugged and walked away. <laughs> and it's like, well, how... <laughs> I I love it when like 
five to eight year olds figure out giant plot holes in movies that most adults never thought about their entire lives. Aww. That happens quite a bit, actually. Huh. I learned bad things about the pretty blue roly polies. Oh, what about it? Okay, so. So, this roly poly, it looks really pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, bad things. Oh. There is a type of virus called in. An Arido virus huh. that attacks terrestrial isopods, or the roly polies, pill bugs, etc., yeah. that form crystals beneath their external skeleton. Oh. The accumulation of these crystals causes their appearance to change from the normal gray to, or brown to a bright blue, violet, or purple. Oh, wow. The virus is not dangerous to humans and cannot be caught from the roly poly. Sick pill bugs turn bright, bright blue like other animals. Pill bugs can contract viral infections. If you find a pill bug that looks bright blue or purple, it's a sign of this virus. Reflected light on from the virus can also causes the cyan color. Oh. Uh -huh. So this poor baby has crystals forming beneath its skin. Oh jeez. Well. Well, not skin, like it's exoskeleton. Yeah. Outer bone, you know. Poor baby. So far away. Ah. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know when it has more things that can hit it. Oh. In about 1933, there was three-year-old chimney sweeps. Like little tiny children. Uh, yeah. Cleaning chimneys. Yep. Poor babies. I'm not gonna lie, I do think it's adorable. He's carrying a little tiny ladder. Yeah. It's so cute. He's doing a lot for dad. I mean, it's so adorable he's carrying a little tiny ladder. Yeah. But I just feel really bad. I mean, don't get Aaron. Yeah. He's so cute, but so sad. Yeah. Fungus bird. Oh, wow. Wow, man. What happens? Spook. Much, mm -hmm. much spook. <laughs> my lungs. I have lung power. Somewhere in my kidney, I think. I spilt my coffee. You just fucking shoot at me. I'll shoot your damn arm off. I'll shoot you in the mech dick. <laughs> and then we'll eject the pilot, because that's what we do in Battletech. <laughs> Who 
looks like it kind of looks like it's from the eighties, actually. Hey, ten. Two headed giant. Oh, hey, now we can actually. Oh, a T bolt. Shit. The clan variant of a T bolt. Hey. Sinus is running out of shit, so I still have to fight the clan. What's that? Let's just fight the clan. Hey, that might. Maybe that's a spell block? I don't know. Uh, or an X pulse. Uh, let's aim at this guy. He's kind of off in the outskirts there. We can. Pelt him with fucking lasers. Oh, nice. You lost an arm. Mortars don't go as far uh, as you might think, which again is accurate. They were a high arc; they were not a they're not a forward arc like artillery was. Nice. Doing that. I think I hit something. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, you are. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's see if I can't flank these assholes. Ooh, flanking something. Rifleman 2 Clan. Hey, it's the one with the hat. I'm going to shoot this guy in the ass crack. Holy buckets. Hyper Assault Goss 20. Dude, I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of pain. Luckily, one of them's damaged. Thank fuck for that. But that sounds like a lot of pain. Well, life is pain! Hope you like giant fucking mortar shells. Nice. Fighting pirates. The fun phenotype adventures of Shlomo Homo Bagelstein. Don't do that. <laughs> So, uh, what, what was the name of the actress who was Mary Jane in the Spider-Man movies back when they were popular? 
I don't know what the hell the name is. Uh, yeah. Whoa. I remember who you, I know who you're talking about, I just yeah. don't know her name. Uh, you know why she's not been in movies in like 20 years? Because she's dead. No, she had a family. She like settled down and had kids and wanted to support her family the whole time. Okay, cool. So she just wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, which... That, that is noble. That is a noble goal in, in this point. Like, it's it used to be normal and everyone did it and it, no one thought much of it. But now it's like, wow, you few rare individuals, like, sauntering off into the wild green yonder. And... That does have a lot of lasers for a javelin, I will admit. Probably had more of it and blow them off. <laughs> Oops. Do, do, do. Oh shit, you're setting that fucker on fire. Oh wow, you really set it on fire. Not as much as I'm gonna do, but still not not bad. You you get an A for effort. Uh but that A is going to cost you your arms. Okay. Boom. Nice. What? You have perpetually messed up my frickin' Spotify. Oh, really? <laughs> is it all fans only I listen to? Uh, the very first, like, just the first two of them, yeah. Oh, wow. Foreshadowing and news, though. Yeah, no. And it kind of gets into things that I like. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck you. Yeah, bullshit. I, mean, I got into the foreshadowing because you recommended it to me. Fuck you and your bullshit. So, you know, that, that that one's your fault. I mean, I've been in the moon spell since I was like a teenager, so that's different, but... Fuck you and your bullshit. I mean, <laughs> my sister got me into that. Fuck you and your bullshit. I'm not gonna stop saying it. <laughs> Bets for something wins. Oh no, how could I? <laughs> it's like, uh, not a good thing? Like, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't overbet. Uh, look, here's the problem with betting on things it's a very impulsive event. Like, it, it, it purely milks your desire of impulsivity. And it. My, my father's been to a few auctions. He's like, yeah, you, you wouldn't be good there, kid. You're like, you, you, know, you would get way carried away. I'm like, you're probably right. <laughs> you know, you, my father was right 90-some percent of the time. Uh, he was right more than most people, I can tell you that much. Oh, God, why? Huh. We already came to human nature, I guess. Why even? I'm so sick of freaky men staring at me. Bitch, I wonder why. <laughs> huh? if, if you didn't show, like, depreciated melons <laughs> and put a little fabric on top of them and then, you know, show the entire boulder and then wonder why people are staring at the round-shaped object. And he, here, here's what people, and a good extent women, don't seem to understand. Here's what they don't understand, is that uh, people like round objects. Like, it's natural. Right? We have an ingrained impulse to like round things. You know. Uh, okay. Look at the internet. How often do people love videos of fat cats? What shape is a fat cat? It's round. <laughs> okay. Uh... A, a, a small chubby baby 
you know, like animal or human, right? They like it because it's tiny and, and round, right? Animals are cute when they're small and round. Boobs are cute when they're big and round. It, it, that's just human nature. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. you know. Now, there's a whole variety on boobage. A variety that, you know, men seem to really appreciate, actually. And so you have this, this big variety of all the different types of boobage. But men like boobs because, one, they have a secondarily sexual function characteristic to them where you know makes makes the penis feel good and two uh they produce the milk for the food for the baby which men at the end of the day want to have kids that having children is a natural human desire every animal wants to have kids at some point right that, that that's how animals are they like children you know like Let's see if I can't shoot you directly in the sternum. This is gonna kill my fucking heat. <laughs> oh boy. I hit something. <laughs> Not sure what it is, but it's something. I will say this, Tex is a very busy man. Like, <laughs> you can just tell that dude's schedule is fucking nuts. Like, you can just tell. Sternum. Roll my leg off! Yeah, let's shoot it in the leg. Uh, yeah, let's do head Actually, let's not do the pepper can at all. <laughs> I aimed for the leg and I shot his arm off. Uh, that sounds like me. And he ejected. Ah, uh, too salvage. Uh, I mostly want the juicy clan tech, but I guess I'll take pirate bullshit. Uh, this thing does not travel fast in water, fucking period. Like, it's... Like, round six, and it's gotten from, like, here to here. <laughs> Ugh. Actually, you know, there's a part of me that thinks I shouldn't hold back, because... I'm, I'm purely going to be cancelled solely for the fact I support men's human rights. Solely for that fact and nothing else. So I might as well just tell the truth. <laughs> I might as well just be as like, hey, guess who's been doing this crazy thing? I might, I might as well. Because I'm going to get cancelled purely for the fact that I support the human rights of the, the hated individuals. That you're allowed to hate. And people would rather have a group they're allowed to hate than love everything. Worked for the Nazis, worked for the communists, and it worked for these guys. You know, it's actually simpler to hate, you know, other things other than yourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, xenophobia is much more productive to society than oikophobia, I can tell you that much. In terms of history and all that stuff. Much more productive to society. Nice. Actually, let me fix my pillows. <sighs> yeah. I love how when Tex plays this, he will like bitch at at his own voice acting <laughs> i'd probably do the same thing to be honest shut up me i'm trying to talk me <laughs> well i do that to to when i when i watch when i, uh, when I re -watch these videos i tend to go what's wrong with you me <laughs> actually in reality I, I watch these videos 
not remembering what I said and then getting entertained by what I said because I forgot. <laughs> That's the one benefit of uh, uh, brain damage due to excessive opiate use. Oh, crunch. Poppy. Yep. Oh, God. Poppity pop. I used the fat pillow for my head. It's a derringer hump. Uh, ow. Ow. Uh, uh, hey, that's close to my... Uh, no. Uh, that's, that's, uh, will you quit grabbing my thigh? You weirdo. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe me spill my mouse. I dropped my mouse. Uh, spill? <laughs> spill my mouse. <laughs> How do you spill a mouse? I was thinking of tea, and then I, and, um, and then I said, tried to say drop my mouse at the same time. No, this is apparently an ad from Alibaba. For what? I don't know. Some sort of thing you can get stuff from. Is it the Indian Wish? Possibly. Okay. But anyway. Is that a... Wait, what? Disposable circumcision stapler. What heresy is this? I don't know. For once, I will agree with the meme of heresy. Ye be speaking heresy. Yeah. Why did somebody make a pee ball gooey duck? Why did someone make a gooey duck? No, this is worse than an actual gooey duck. It gets worse. It gets even worse. What did they fill it with? I don't know, and I don't want to. Uh, I'm assuming it's made out of clay. It, it looks like they filled it with, like, cream cheese and chocolate. Why would you fill a gooey duck with cream cheese and chocolate? At least that's what it's appearing to be. I think one can hope that's what it is. You just pray to God it's just... Oh, wow, he, he exploded. Shit. You, you just pray to God it's fucking... Meringue. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna blow his ass up. There's animals with eyebrows. What? <laughs> mm. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's animals with eyebrows. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's got facial hair. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen mustache. that picture of the cat. Yeah, the cat with the mustache. Whoa, look at that tail. Yeah, that, that's crazy. <laughs> It looks, like, it looks like a nun cat. <laughs> Uncle Cat Golf. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's wild. Hey, he's got a heart. Oh. <laughs> heart noses. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I don't know why, but cats are just... They're just amazing creatures. Wow, that's, that's wild. Oh, well. You got the domesticated short ball cat, and you got the wild, feral, and it looks spicy like cat. A cat on him. Yeah. Heart. The wild, feral, spicy cat. Why is it all black around that area? It, it, it's censored. It's, mm. it's a censored cat butthole. Apparently. Yeah. Is that a TIE fighter on its back? That is a baby. That looks like... Oh, God. Yeah. That guy has laser beams. Yeah, laser beams for eyeballs. <laughs> oh, God. I love cats so much. <laughs> yeah. There's a cow with eyebrows. I, I actually... Uh, oh, no shit. I actually reconnected with a, with a friend from high school. Um, oh, no. Who... Oh, jeez. Who, uh, she had, uh, oh, no. She had a, a, a sister. 
uh, who was the kind of kid that didn't know what a cat was, but knew what a cow looked like, and and called her cat Moo Moo because she thought the cat was a like really tiny fluffy cow. <laughs> I mean, she was young at the time, but still, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's honestly kind of based. Like, I, I, I reject the reality of this cat and substitute with the reality of this cow. Uh, Holy Lock shit. Metalocalypse is announcing a new movie. Based. And soundtrack. Based. And Death Clock album. Based. Meh. I'm excited. You don't know the fun this just brought to me. Actually, I'm going to... Can I precise strike at, an, at a forward arc? Oh, apparently the fuck I can. Shit, I didn't know I could do that. This thing is fucked. Ooh. You know what? Just because I can tell you that for like the past hour, I'm going to make weird chocolate bullshit now. He ejected. Nice. That cool. you don't really want to eat because it's no vanilla. It is. You put other things in it. Yeah, but what the fuck did I put in it? I put cinnamon in it. That's it. That's <coughs> the only thing I can put into it is uh, cinnamon. Well, if it if the chocolate's in something, but if it's just chocolate powder mixed with like oil or whatever you mixed it with, then you know that'd be weird. But if if it's mixed with something, if it's like chocolate soup bullshit in bread, like you did that one time. Yeah. Um. By the way. That involves chocolate little pieces. Yeah. Those involve chocolate pieces. And I would have to freeze something if I do it homemade or buy it. Yeah, why didn't I buy an extra, like, chocolate bar when I was at Dollar General? Why didn't I do that? Uh, Just so you could make this, like, a week later. <laughs> Yay! Successful com com commission. Yay! I win. Ugh, crunch. Crunch. Ugh. Gotta crack my bones. Inject some Robitussin in my veins. Thank you. Oh, I got a whole tea bolt out of that shit. The tea bolt clan. Oh, that's cool. They added that. Hope I get some good shit. Oh, nice. Hey. Oh wow, I got a bunch of pieces. Before I go, you learn how to pedal the big cat. Uh. It is my duty to pedal the big cat. Yeah.
Operation Gotten Dumb and Wrong Chocomance. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, uh. I just zoned out for a second. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, uh. Yeah, I got some money and I got some shit. And, uh, let me check the night back. I got some shit. So, uh. I got a T Bolt clan. So I might get rid of the arena T Bolt. Depending on what the clan one has. Oh, yeah, it's much better. Points. Built by Clan J Falcon on Sudeten in their occupation zone, the Thunderbolt C2 is a full clan tech rebuild of the venerable design, built with full clan components and weapons. The TBR C 2 provided a powerful mech for J Falcon garrison forces and is popular among their second line galaxies. Armed with an ER PPC, four ER medium lasers, two ER small lasers, two small pulse lasers, a streak SRM 6. And an AMS system. The TBR C2 has a weapon for all occasions. Based. That one just looks better. Five seven. Five seven. Better range damage though. Uh, yeah, I think I'll staff that one. I got a T Bolt clan. Hey, Donnie Butt, how you doing? The Kintaro. I have no Kintaro. Treb. What's the movement on it? 5'8. Oh, 6'8. Okay, shit. Um. As much as I like the Kintaro, I don't really need it. I have mechs that already do what it does. Okay. Oh no, not the sugar. <laughs> Wait, it's not your sugar. No, it's not. <laughs> I didn't have brown sugar from you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you use that for cooking. Brown sugar is better for cooking. Cane sugar is better for, like, liquids and drinks and shit. <sighs> Sorry, I get so quiet. Uh, I'm like having troubles focusing. It's really weird. Um, so that's my summoner. I have a thing for plasma rifles. <laughs> kind of my thing. <laughs> Jeez, this mech is evil. I love it.
I like the Avatar a lot. It's it's cool. It it's kind of slow though. Four seven. Slower than a lot of my other mechs of this size. Maybe if I can give it uh, a better core, I can. Uh, yeah, I kind of re I kind of want to reset the Avatar. Oh, God, that live-action movie fucking sucked, dude. <laughs> it was fucking awful. You can, uh, ba based on how he split up the story, you can tell he wanted to put it in like two or three parts, but it was so terrible and everyone hated it so much that the studio was like, yeah, no, you're not making the second movie. He just put so little effort into it. That's Oh, the core's built in. Shit. Oh, I kind of hate that. Oh, it's an Omniac, that's why. That depreciated. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, the Omnimax are a weird trade-off because the core is like fused into it and the engine is fused into it, which I used to really appreciate because it's like, you know, if this mech gets bricked, I don't have to replace a core. That's, I appreciate that. But here's the problem. I can't swap out the core for anything else. So it's stuck at this movement completely. And that's the big, big downside because I like putting stronger cores and shit and make them go zoom zoom and then shoot them in the ass crack so it's kind of kind of my play style you know you, you do what works Okay, uh, geez, should I swap anything out? I'll try a can of five. I've been putting rotaries in fucking everything. <laughs> it's the way the Daka gods intended. Bop, bop, bop. I don't want to swap out the Ultra. Oh, cool. Is it powdery or kind of liquidy? Just sort of. Oh, it's goofy. Nice. I go for that. <laughs> well, come on, bring it here. <laughs> You know what I think we're talking about, too. Thank you. <laughs> hey, this is my period, pre-period snack, not yours. <laughs> no, I do not care who, who, who hears that. <laughs> it's, it's whatever. Well, some people are just kind of weirded out by that sort of stuff. And it's like, just try it. Yeah. It's not even that bad. Gross. Yeah. It's messy, yeah. I mean, there there's certain, you know, cultures in the desert lands that would disagree with you, but no one really cares what they think because everyone thinks they hate women and not men because somehow that means that you're bad if you only hate women. But if you hate both, that's somehow okay because at least you're hating men. I mean, the typical feminist logic that everyone fucking believes in, you know. I 
don't like how HVAC fucking explodes. Like, it's... It fires so fast and so hard, it fucking blows things up. Like, I do approve of that. Put your butt over here. A little potent, but it's good. Yeah. Why did you make it goopy this time? Hmm? Why did you make it goopy this time? Egg. You put an egg in chocolate. You're supposed to put an egg in baked goods anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Why is that? Like, what did, what did the egg do? Kind of just binds things together. Okay. It's kind of like breadcrumbs when you're making dip. Well, not, not chip dip, but like, what are, what are those things called, the, the can, canned foods I used to make? What are they called? Salads? Uh, yeah, like, like chicken salad. That kind of chicken stuff. Chicken tuna and stuff too. Yeah. I don't know why it's called salad, it's like a thick paste. It's not even, not even got fucking plants <laughs> in it. Okay, well why the hell is the ambrosia stuff considered a salad? I don't even know what that is. Midwest. There's so a lot of Midwestern salads that oh, okay. technically aren't the traditional salad. Yeah, I believe you. Hey, Cap. How you doing? How you doing, bud? How you doing? Turn around 27 tons. Holy shit. Uh, I might take that out. I'm just stripping this fucking thing, aren't I? Holy shit. Uh, now I got 25 tons to play with. Um, I could do twin rotary auto cannon twos. That'd be metal as fuck. I could do AC fives. Ooh, that'd be spicy. Make the avatar the ultimate Daka Daka. Hmm. Let's, let's put AC twos in there. Now, let's do some SRMs. What's your advice to the person secretly crushing on you? Dual time. Yeah. Prepare to duel. What, with cards? No, with swords. Have fun. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I do have an SRM6 clan. Shit. That's good. Damn, the clan ones are good. Oh, it's got case already installed. Okay, I don't have to worry about that then. All right, uh. Somewhere else. Uh, those double heat sinks are kind of bulky. Uh, guess I put them in the arms. I don't normally do that, but so I can put the ammo in there. Please send that to me. <laughs> Shall do. Yeah. <laughs> Spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, could do a streak one. A streak SRM6. No. 
I might have to stick with those two SRM sixes. Yeah. Um, so. Bust out the rotary ammo. There you are. Mm -hmm. Don't really like putting all my ammo in one basket, but you know. Oh my god. Huh. I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning more about German. Oh. I don't like gloves. Are just translates to hand shoe. Yeah. Handschuhe. Yeah. And uh, bat translates to flying mouse. Leave it And, um. Turtle was shield quota. Yeah, uh, sh uh shield lizard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shield well, quota. Shield turtle. Oh, yeah, well. At least in that direct translation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it. It's a. It's a language where if you understand the patterns, it's easy to figure out because oh, yeah. there's, there's a very logical basis in its sentence structure. Which cannot be said for English whatsoever. ever. So that's kind of why English is so damn hard. 30 hilarious reasons why the German language is the worst. More like the best. Yeah. Uh, is, is, it be, is it because uh, Schwarzenegger is black black? <laughs> and... And... It's act, well, his, that's also in Austria, so who well, knows? Well, here's the there. here's the thing. His his name basically means black and blacker. Like, it, <laughs> as weird as that sounds, but nigger is how they would say a certain word that's verboten in all, uh, you know, possible dialects oh in English. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Me speaking German to a German, um. Has to dare ah fuck. <laughs> it's okay, friend. Learning a second language and this is German. Learning the second language is difficult, but with enough practice, you'll you'll acquire the the vernacular and and colloquialisms. Yeah. <laughs> I can speak. I just don't know how to. Colloquialisms. Yeah. I can say it in my head just fine. Yeah, no, it's and, and then your tongue's like, nope, I ain't doing it. <laughs> just like <laughs> yeah. to communicate. On a concordant matter, vis-a-vis, -vis other Germans, I myself still struggle with the endeavor of mastering the English language, ergo, I hope I have articulated myself in a proper manner. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> sir, or <laughs> ma'am. Yeah. Uh, y and then you it, know. And then, like, the ending, it's like, brad. It's like F A H R R A D. Huh. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Jacob. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just funny because like that that really is how a lot of Europeans are with second languages. Ah, I'm gonna talk, woman. <laughs> Got your pile. <laughs> with some better. shows chocolate batter in my face while I'm talking. How Germans see Germans talking to each other. You know, just regular talking. Blah, 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 blah. How foreigners see German people talking to... Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> 
essentially. It's just a bunch of German words that sound angry. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that that's true. It's one of the Snodden languages. The roots is net foots cock. Yeah. Weren't you saying that the Germans don't actually do the ach sound very hard anymore? Not not as hard as they used to, no. Uh, a lot of modern Germans speak much softer in their language. Which makes no sense, because it's not what the language is meant for. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, the, the language is meant for ach, uch, and uch. It's meant for that kind of harsh gutturals. That's, that, that, that's how the language is fucking pronounced. But people in, their, in that country... Be they white or other, don't pronounce words with that strength anymore. German Scrabble. Yes. <laughs> and it's just a very large board. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is accurate. That is fucking accurate. <laughs> Cause, let me put it this way. When they were inventing the German language, they were afraid of the space bar. <laughs> they, were, well, they were afraid of the space, you know? Um... German news on Twitter. 140 characters, that's barely enough for two words. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh my god. English. Pardon? German. Bitte. Yeah. Please. Bitte. Hmm? <laughs> go ahead. Bitte. Yeah. Here you go. Bitte. <laughs> You're welcome. Bitte. Yeah. Hmm? Not at all. Bitte. Yeah. I slept with your sister. I messed up, but I still love you. Can we move past this? <laughs> <laughs> okay here's the thing German is a very context sensitive language the, I kind of want Pret to watch this now uh, yeah uh, yeah. I'm curious so to see what he says uh, I've, I've studied a good chunk of it because you know it just it runs in my family lineage and, uh, what the hell are you doing hey, hey, hey. I'm doing airplanes I mean your father's an air force person <laughs> yeah a mechanical engineer, specifically with hydraulics. He was a hydraulic engineer. If your title is engineer in the military, you're pretty fucking smart. <laughs> hey, is there a German word for making something worse while trying to fix it? There is a word for this. Verschlimmbessern. <laughs> Apparently that just means you're making it worse while trying to fix it. Yeah. Uh, my my favorite one, if I can remember what the fuck it is. Um, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to remember the word. I, I know what it means. Some person talking to some dude talking to another dude in kind of a suggestive way, but. Oh yeah. Tell me, mon cher, what comes between sex and fear? The German busts in. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> I love that joke. What, 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 what occurs between sex and fear? Boom! <laughs> yeah. That is true. That's if you actually know fear, boom, sex. Yeah. Why is that such a... Do you, it's one fucking word. <laughs> well, it's a business. <laughs> I, I got one for you. Do you know what uh, nat I know. natural science is? Naturwissenschaften. Why Germans don't play Scrabble. Uh, yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's Lucas as bad as that fucking town in, well in Wales, but yeah. easier to pronounce. Yeah. They just... The German language hates the idea of a space bar. Yeah. They just hate the idea of a space bar. It's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. It's wholesome. I love it. At least I can pronounce it. Yeah. It, them getting rid of the space is honestly a shit test. It's a cultural shit test as old as time. In Germany, we don't we don't say I don't care. We said das ist mir Wurst. Which roughly translates as, this sausage is to me. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. 
No, you don't understand. We actually do say that. <laughs> I crashed my car into the bridge. The sausage is... This is sausage to me. Yeah. I, yeah, actually, I fucked that up. This is sausage to me. Yeah. That's supposed to be a verse. Yeah. I've heard of that before, yeah. <clears throat> I'm learning German. I love it because its vocabulary is so straightforward and blunt. How do you say food? Essen. How do you say verb? How do you say the verb eat? Essen. How yeah. do you say meal? Essen. Yeah. We food food at food time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no How shit. do you say flesh? Fleisch. How do you say meat? Fleisch. Yeah. Kittens are cat children. <laughs> I love German. Loves are hand shoes. Lifts are driving chairs. Light bulbs are glow pairs. I love this language so much. Yeah. <laughs> Pets are house animals. Yeah. Vacuum cleaners are dust suckers. Refrigerators are cool closets. <laughs> I love this language. Yeah. I like the direct translations. Yeah, the direct translations are always hilarious. I need this to load, please. This is sausage to me. Maybe you should say that in front of Prince and see what he does. Yeah. He'll probably be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and knowing him, he'll, he'll like, critique our asses and be like, that's actually from the other side of the country. I don't know why you're talking is that to me, you fusion. Like it's, <laughs> oh my goodness! Like it's, I swear he's gonna do that. Like it's. <laughs> I want you, Lord. This is fun. Yeah. No, Am I doing this? Yeah, it's it's fun. I'm not even playing the game anymore. We're just we're just <laughs> we're just going through the motions. <laughs> this is what happens when you're in a fucking thing with me, okay? Yeah, true. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Hmm. Literal translations of normal German words. Light bulb, obviously, is glowing pear. Mm -hmm. Slugs are naked snail. <laughs> Bicycles are go wheel. Yeah. Skunks are stink animal. <laughs> Drums are hit thing. <laughs> Can't confirm. Airplanes are air weapon. Yeah. Luftwaffe, yeah. A grave is just into the grounding. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, like, I think it's for birth control. Mm. And it's literally just anti baby pill. <laughs> it's literally anti baby pill. <laughs> and it's like. It's, I mean, okay. is it wrong? Like. Italy. Farfalla. Butterfly. Yeah. I was reading that. <laughs> this fucking thing. Yeah. I don't like The German word for that is Schmetterling. I know what it is. Yeah. I was reading it and I was going yeah. to do a very, very bombastic way of saying it. Schmetterling! You know? Ah, you fucker. <laughs> I will steal your thunder as you stole mine. And don't you put chocolate mm -hmm. bullshit on me. And hey, ah, oh god. Ah, oh, no, don't. <laughs> you weirdo, stop rubbing confectionery on me. It looks weird. Maybe they'll think you have a kink now. Oh no. <laughs> he now has to eat the chocolate off his skin. <laughs> yeah. Or I guess the hose again. I didn't realize that this was lotion. I think that was like one of the only serial killers in any media ever that targeted exclusively fat chicks. Did they have naturally softer skin? Yep. Also because it was more, you know, there was more of it, because it was stretched around a larger canvas. Um, he wanted to basically clean their skin, skin them, and wear it. Yeah. And it was Buffalo Bill. Okay, I think here was you go. Hey, what the fuck? Okay, now let's try this again. Okay, so Italy is farfalla. English is, well, you know, butterfly. Mm -hmm. Spain, I think, is yeah. mariposa. And I don't know, I think in France it's papillon. Yeah. German. Schmetterling. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're German if you can pronounce so my. <laughs> <sighs> Give her a minute, folks. She's got this. <laughs> I actually do, probably. It's just yeah. I don't speak it enough to fully, yeah. you know. Okay, this one I may not actually have. <laughs> it's too fucking weird. Have fun. Uh, Shesha Chef. Shesha Chef from Mika <laughs> Alf Gratian. Shanish. Uh, Chinesian. <laughs> See, you can barely Passing get it. Shipping. Okay. Uh, God, the, 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 those S sounds. Those S sounds are not that common, but they do happen in quite a few different words. The S C H I and shit. There's like. Shia. There's like six different ways to say you. Yeah. Yeah. Du dich der sie einen ihr in euch. Yeah. Yep. I'm good at this, apparently, at least for somebody that barely knows shit. And a lot of the words differ, like which one you use when, differs either on context, culture, or uh, some, like a dialect, say one word more than the other. They like varieties in their words. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> How to name animals in German. Oh no. Does it look like a pig? Yes. Schwein. Yeah. No. Are you sure? Yes. Does it look like another kind of animal? Kind of. Does it look like a bear? Yes, but smaller. Waschbar. Yeah. But what if it's no? A chicken? Yes, but bigger and scarier. Threatening... Chicken. Truthon, I think. Mm. Turkey. Yeah. But it doesn't look like a chicken. Yeah. What if it's a toad? What if it's a toad? <laughs> yes, but with a shell. Schildkrota. Yeah. But what if no? It's a snail. Yes, but without a shell. Oh, fuck, I can't fucking see this. Mm. You fucking cocksucker. <laughs> moved away from where I needed to be. Yeah. Nachschnecke? Mm. It's a slug. Yeah. Naked snail. Yeah. What if it's a fish? I don't know, it squirted ink at me. Tintin fish. Yeah. Ink fish. Yeah. What if it's a mouse? Yes, but it can fly. What are you talking about? Flutter mouse. Something really weird. The weirdest I've ever seen. Schnabeltier. Mm. Schnabeltier. Yeah. Which would be a platypus, apparently. Yeah. Which would be beak animal. Yeah. <clears throat> but, let's go back up to the top. Oh boy. So, does it look like a pig? No. Are you sure? Well, where did you see it? A friend's house. Ocean piglet. Near Schweinchen. Uh, Kitty pig. Yeah. There's a tree one. Spike pig. Uh. Stachel. Stachel. Schwein. Yeah. yeah. Stachel. Schwein. Yeah. Porcupine. South America. Water pig. Wasserstein. Yeah. Capybara. Yeah, basically. In the ocean. Uh, is it lumpy? Hmm? Sea pig. <laughs> sea schwein. Dugong. Yeah. Or sleek. Pig whale. Oh my. Schweinschwalb. Porpoise. Yeah. But... Does it look like a 
big no. Are you sure? Yes. Does it look like another animal? No. What does, what does it do? It stinks. Stink theater. Yeah. Skunk. Yeah. Does Stink it wear animal. armor? If it's I E R at the end, is it like ear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the second vowel makes the sound. Well, like well, like guys. I I, I I realize that, but I'm trying yeah. to say it at the end of a word. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, just it, weird. It, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Gert Teltier. Mm. Armadillo. Mm. Armadillo. And apparently, if it does nothing. It's a folk deer. Mm. Or a sloth. Yeah. And those are the animals in Yerma. Mm. Nice. Not sure if everyone is angry or if it just sounds that way because they're speaking German. Uh. Oh my god! Do German snakes go. <laughs> it's that weird S yeah. thing that they got. Yeah. It's actually. Well, it's considered a double S, but yeah, it's. I forget the actual name for it. English contraceptive pill, German anti baby pill. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> At least they're honest. <laughs> we have a great saying in German when people are saying or doing something stupid. Hmm. Yeah, back him, him, um, himmel. Lord, throw some brains from the heavens. <laughs> yeah. Favorite follow up, older Steiner. Hauptsache, mm. er trifft. Or stones as long as he hits the mark. <laughs> Germans don't fuck about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. <clears throat> I, I mean, if, you know, you were forced by other people to fuck around, and then you were forced by everyone else to find out, then, you know, you tend to learn some things pretty quick. Apparently in German, a bolt... Jiggy, or whatever the fuck it's called, is called Mother. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of that, actually. Oh, this is one you already mentioned. Huh. It's the science thing. I think this yeah. is just the name for science in general. Oh, yeah. Naturwissenschaften? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How to say pen in different languages. Oh boy. First we have pen. Italy is penna. Spain is pluma. I don't know what the fuck country this is. Taina? Okay. This other country is also penna. And then there's German. Kugelschreiber. When you do not speak Dutch, the the sign looks terrifying. She's asking for this one, this one, this one, please. It's just saying "Mama D D D." Yeah. I don't think they would say it as "die." Yeah, no, over yeah, there. Yeah, it'd be D. Oh my God. It's similar to the German. Shit. Why German is a beautiful language? Oh my. Oshkaga. Axe violin. A heavy insult. <laughs> a fushupa. Foot horn. A small dog. Hmm. Okay. You gotta be dish do bis. Gotar var dikta. A dikta, maybe. 
I do not pride myself on how these get pronounced. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, she, she, she's trying. <laughs> hey, sometimes I do like yeah, this. So, so, sometimes it's like... Sometimes it gets you, but other times you figure it out. No matter how drunk you are, Goethe, I think, was a poet, pun. Dicta also translates to more drunk. Whatever the hell, however, however the fuck this is, it means fox, devil's wild, or just really angry. Yeah. Hus Teufels Wild? Okay. There's the slug one. <laughs> uh. Blue Wurmchen. Glow Wormies. Yep. Fireflies. Yeah. Beautiful language, isn't it? <laughs> Stroking wood match. Mm. But that's just what their matches are called, apparently. Mm. Which is dry poles. Okay. Ah, yes, this one. This one we love using. Schadenfreude. Yeah. Damage happiness. The pleasure you feel when others suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only the Germans can make a fucking word for that. Find a flag. Breaths. Breath smelling of alcohol. Okay. Mm. Pummer speck. Or actually, pummer speck. Maybe. Or is it still ooh and it's just a single U? I forget. Uh, does, it, does it only become ooh when it has an umlaut or does it stay about the same? When it has an umlaut, it, uh, ooh it? becomes ooh. So, um... Well, it also depends on the dialect. Oh, that's true. But, I mean, some put a harder emphasis on the EU, but it's still, it, it's a long... Yeah, I know you, German tech. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm well aware. But, uh... Anyway, apparently this stands for misery bacon, or the <laughs> fat that you gain through comfort food. Uh... Gluck spills. Luck mushroom. Mm. A person that has a lot of luck. Oh, cool. Shiv's Kex. Joke Biscuit. A hoaxer. Yeah. Joke Biscuit. I love that. Tarnde. Far away ape. The desire to go somewhere far away. I think. It's F E R N W E H. Yeah, Fen Beth. There's an H at the end. Uh, well, yeah. It's it's, it's not the hardest sound at the end. Um, I thought it would be like Fanze. Is it uh, or something? Ve, ve, or ve, ve, no. Fan ve. Yeah, ve. Kind of like a wire sound. Or ve. Yeah, ve. Um. Dance Blumchen. Goose floor it. Yeah. Daisy. Yeah. Um. That would hurt more. Um. What was it? It's, uh, TV is Fanze, which is far to see. Plasvisha, flat wanker, a heavy insult. Yeah. Scratch. <clears throat> Flugzeug, fly thing. <laughs> Airplane. Yep. Uh. Lasso shield crota. Oh, I guess this depends on the dialect. Where how the fuck you say turtle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ich fresh einen Bessen. I will devour a broom. Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation of incre- incredulousness. Volt frost. Fuck, I did that. Volt frosten. Volt pole pole. Heavy insult. Oh mm. my. Not a, a motherfucker. Oh god. Ha 
Unschnudschnibberwerfer. Glove snowball thrower. Basically an anon troll. <laughs> <laughs> Basically an anon troll. Zana, Zanga. Flat flyers. A heavy insult. Yeah. Okay. No, no. German Wi Fi is is the worst. <laughs> and it's just a bunch of sausages in the way of the uh, Wi Fi symbol. <laughs> Based. No matter how kind you are, German children will always be kinder. <laughs> it's kind of cute. So I'm finally done. <laughs> Only took me four hours, but here I am. As much as I like this build, just the fact that it's a army oh mag, I can't. The do's and do nots of multilingual love. Mm. Well, let's see if I can still remember how to pronounce the French one. Yeah. Je t'aime, I think. Uh -huh. Italian is ti amo. Spanish is ti credo. Ti credo, rather. I think it's ti quiero. Means I like you, doesn't it? Something like that. Yeah. I don't pride myself so myself on speaking any type of language. Yeah, well, I'm surprised I can remember how to speak the French one. Ti quiero is. I like you. And I only know this because there's a song called Tikiro Puta, which means I like you, you whore. <laughs> oh my. And that was a fun song. <laughs> German, do not do, apparently. Ich liebe dich. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, no, whatever it is, I don't want it. Actually, I like that better. Yeah. I'm just like, otherwise, if I hear the other ones, it's like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, it, you guys can speak it into your own fucking people. I don't want it. Look, look here's here's what's strange. It's it's kind of your preference at the end of the day, but either you prefer the sound of swishing when you speak yeah. Spanish, or the sound of vomiting with your mouth closed when you speak French, or the sound of power strength in the back of your throat. Which is more enticing to the female psyche? <laughs> Women respect power and authority, so as a result. Okay, but I'm still surprised I was able to remember how to say Jetem. I just realized that. Since women like power and authority, is it no wonder why the Germans lost their power and authority in their culture and language? So they couldn't guide women to making the right decisions when they got corrupted by a certain amorphous entity. Hmm. And I have another thing, just and a it's thought. the last German thing to read. Okay. There's like 30 of them. Yeah, I bet. German is a great language. I mean, you have the word Torta. Which means cake. And then you have the word tota. Which means dead people. Yeah. So a little typo can turn an invitation to have some cake into an invitation to have some dead people. And I think that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, yeah. It, it, it's one of those languages where the, the words are very... Like, you, you fuck up one typo, you can say eight different things. <laughs> like, it's... It's very interesting. Like it's it's a very you have to spell this right kind of language. Yeah. Actually, is this one a uh rendition or is it just a it seems based off of a SLDF Kintaro but it's not actually an SLDF Kintaro uh, Star League Defense Force was the pinnacle of military might pretty much in all of Inner Sphere history apparently and... genetically modified weed mix mass shooters <laughs> okay. according to something is that why the majority of mass shooters are black is that why the majority of mass shooters uh, don't get covered by the media until it becomes convenient or because one of them happens to be trans? 
Then everyone covers it and everyone gives a shit all of a sudden. And look, if we're making the argument that six shooters constitute that that the transitioners are a dangerous threat to society, then what the hell are black people? <laughs> like. If, if, if the trans group is dangerous because of six school shootings, you guys have any idea how many school shootings happen in California alone by black students alone? Hundreds. Every year. Right? Hundreds. Three to four hundred a year on average. Okay, again, California is three quarters actually it's three to four every couple of years uh three to four hundred every i think two or three years about there but every couple of years they have hundreds of school shootings and those are just the ones perpetuated by black students i'm not counting all the white ones that you've actually heard about <laughs> okay so if if we if everyone's in agreement that we should uh, ship the trans people to an island so they don't shoot up schools. Well, there's another group of people on that list that has a far higher likelihood propensity of doing that exact action. It's called Enconia. Look it up. Nice. But, uh... Calm down. What? Uh, hey, I'm not saying we should or shouldn't. What I'm saying is, you know, if... if people are in agreement that the trans have gone too far because of six shootings that you've heard of then what about the hundreds of school shootings every other year that you haven't heard of by one group in particular like with gee i wonder which is more prevalent i wonder which kills more people i wonder which is is you know hurts more people the ones you never fucking hear about that happen a hundred times more than the six you have heard of I wonder which is more deadly. <laughs> I know. But like, just whatever. Fuck. Shoot your chip off. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying we should or shouldn't. I'm just saying, if we're going with that logic, you're not going to like that can of beans. Welcome to Chris's kitchen. He has 109 dishes and they're all beans. <laughs> This Orion is a lie. Like, it's... <laughs> okay. I want to I read this to you guys and show you how much of a lie this fucking Orion is. Um... <sighs> okay. Double style on the Switch to use the Rotary Auto Cannon 5 in place of the LPX-10 and Oni... of the Oni MD by adding a second RAC-5 in the right torso. Uh, into... Oh, well... Hold on. Endo steel, steel structure is free weight for the use of two MRM-10s for mid-range punching power. The right arm carries a single MX pulse laser as an energy backup, which feels like an afterthought. Yeah, it, it makes it sound like the uh, left arm has the rotary AC-5, but both arms have the medium X pulse. Or, well, no, one does, and the other has an MRM-10. <laughs> just because <laughs> like it it doesn't quite you know honestly the auto cannon should be here although that being said if you punch with this damn thing uh it could fire the rotary auto cannons point blank which that'd be fun we can punch with this damn thing light engine you kind of need the light engine for that kind of space. Actually, how much is the XL Clan engine? Is it two spaces? Four engine slots. Four engine slots. Oh shit, it's the same space. Nice. Of course, it'll cost two fucking mil, but you know. I'll get an extra five tons out of it. Ah, oh, jeez. 
I have no space though, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I, I, I have a thing for rotary auto cannons. I don't know why. Just it it just it does my Germanic heart good. It it does. <laughs> My German ancestors would be proud of that. I'm actually not just German. I'm German, Scottish. Uh, oh, a few other things. Um, but it's, it's all of the the Euro persuasion, really. Um, I mean, you, you, know, you look at me, I have a fucking red beard. You know, <laughs> it's kind of kind of obvious that you know, I'm I'm of the white people. Here's the problem. There's a few mechs in this that I just don't use because I can only fill two lances. And I, I just I never know when to swap out or not. Like if I have an extra lance, I can actually like do these and these and these. And then it, it all be worked out just fucking good. Fuck. I'd actually do like a single lance of like lights, a lance of heavies, and like a lance of a little bit of mix. That's probably what I would do. And then have a lance of artillery tanks. If we had the setup I would like. Actually, what's the navigation like? Hold on. Uh, oh shit. Oh, Jade Falcon's almost forked. Great. Sweet. Okay, we're winning. Hooray. Hooray. Yay. This bitch hates birds, by the way. <laughs> I find it hilarious. Because she comes from a planet that's, like, infested with giant fucking rat birds. And they shit everywhere. Uh. Like it, and I think they're like a protected species. So, you, and but they're giant fucking birds that shit buckets. So, so there's fucking bird shit everywhere. Okay, I just gonna do another. Spice, spicy thing. Ooh. Nice. They like me. Yay. I'm actually not doing a Steiner file, like, at all. I'm, I'm actually just doing an actual fucking, like, hey, I'm a merc kind of file. Uh... It's about three hours. Yeah, I think I'll end it here. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, language lessons with the wife here. Uh, that was that was pretty fun. Uh, I might do that again. Uh, it's it's forty degrees in freedom units outside, and it's nice. It's balmy. It's calm. Well, it's windy as balls. So you know, it's 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 nice. Uh, and uh, I will fuck off to the vacuum of space, and you guys do the same. Fuck off in whatever direction you wish to, and have fun, take care, get fucked, take it easy.